Nimeamua kukufuata Yesu katika hali zote Neno lako nalidhamini moyoni mwangu nitakuishia wewe ulie nifia
tunakushukuru kwa wema wako tunakushukuru kwa wema wako Lord we thank you for your goodness in our lives we thank you for your loving kindness you have enabled us to come this far you have fought our battle you have loved us unconditionally you have protected our lives and your pavilion you have fought our battles you have made us to be strong even in times of challenges you have been our hope you have been our greatest encourager we thank you for your love we thank you for your care we thank you for your provision we thank you for your power we thank you for your wisdom we thank you for all of your unconditional love there is no one above you thanks we thank you to all of you for your love and your reign forever more you are done as well that is why we shall testify of your goodness we shall testify of your wonderful deeds in our lives you have been the beginning and the end the rock of ages the alpha and the omega you have been our strong our shield and our defense you have been the lord our strong we shall glorify your holy name forever more for your name power be to tell you to say my dear son to jehovah what we find in your presence to not say my dear son to jehovah for my father zako za afya to not say my dear son to jehovah for my father zako katika maisha yetu to not say my dear son to jehovah for what we are for our children for our katika maisha yetu atuja aibika ni kwa ajili ya kuwa sehemu yetu to not say my dear son to jehovah where we reside here you know where we are ndio <laughs>
Yesu tumwende mbele za Bwana tumwambie kwa wema wake tutafakari matendo yake na wema wake katika maisha yetu tumwambie ni asante kwa maana amekuwa Mungu pamoja nasi tumwambie ni asante kwa maana amekuwa tegemeo wa milele ametutenda mema kwa kuhifadhi maisha yetu ametutenda mambo makubwa kwa kutujenga katika afya yake hakuna mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe Jehova umekuwa mungu yetu katika unyonge umekuwa msaada wa karibu tunapokutafuta umepigana vita vyetu na kutufanya washindi siku ya leo umetufika utukufu wako ili tusije tukaribika tutatukumbukia wala kutuacha umetembea pamoja nasi kutoka na chuo moja hadi mwingine katika unyonge wetu umekuwa nguvu umekuwa faraja yetu umekuwa matumaini ya milele umetujenga katika mwamba usio tikisika jehova tu akuwa nguvu jehova tu akuinua jehova tu akupenda kama sio wewe jehova kukuwa upande wetu adui wetu wangetumaliza tukani hai lakini siku ya leo tuko na sifa za kusema siku ajili umetutenda mema tukitazama maisha yetu tunaona ukuu wako tukitazama maisha yetu tunaona uaminifu wako kama sio wewe kutuleta upande huu baba hatungeliweza lolote umetupigania vita umetujaza na neema yako ili tusije tukakumbukiwa katika barabara ya wokovu hakuna aliye kama wewe Jehova njia zako na kutuleta karibu na wewe leo hii hatungekuwa jinsi tulivyo kwa maana ndani yako tumepata majina mapya ndani yako tumepata maisha mapya na kuna aliye kama yule tabu tukufu wote wako wewe ni wewe
Kwena vigele gele kwa bwana Yesu jamani Atuna mbogo mwingine kwa mbona huyu bwana Wametutenda beba, wametutenda katika kwamba wake Tuko na sababu ya kulisifu jina la bwana Makofi kwa bwana tunapo msifu watu ya leo
exalt your holy name. Lift up your hands and declare you are alive. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Lord of God. There is no one like you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is no one like you. You are highly exalted. You are highly honored. You are highly honored. You are seated above every throne. You are seated above every kingdom. You are seated above every position. My Father, my God, you are seated above every authority. You are our God. You are our Father. You are our Master. You are our Savior. You are our King. Your best of the world is our King. Your best of the world is our King. Your best of the world is our power. Your best of the world is our glory. We shall be the world servants. We shall be the world servants. And we will have the power of the world. In that we shall have us. We shall have us. Your best of the world is our power. Our power. Our power. There is no one like you, Lord. We lift up our hands in honor to your name. We lift up our hands in honor to your name. We lift up our hands in praise to your holy name. We lift up our hands. We declare worthy. Are you Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world? What are you Lamb of God who was slain for our salvation? You are the Lord. That has power to open the doors. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In you we live. In you we move. In you we have our people. We are God of God. Besides your father. We are God of God. Besides your master. We are God of God. Thank you. You are with the Lord of our glory. We worship you this morning. You stick close to us. My father. You are worthy of God. You are God. You stick close to us, my Father. You are the Lord who abides with us forever. You are God who abides with us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. You never abandon your own. Who rabba shete beriba, shantere lele morida, shegete tere na, shantara mori bishaya, breke be bosi ni bayanda. You are God. From beginning to the end, you are God. Yes, Lord, there is no shadow of doubt. You are our God. You are our God. Yes, Lord, you are our God. Yes, Lord, we declare you are our God. You've got times and seasons in your hands. As we lift up our hands, let's give God worship.
up your hands to God. You are God. From the beginning to the end. You are God. Before we were, you were. To the end, you keep us. To the end, you preserve us. Even once we are not there, you remain to be God. Oh, yes. And that is why in our season and our dispensation, we choose to declare we have no other God. Yes. We have chosen to declare in you we live, in you we move, yes. in you we have our being. We have chosen to lose our lives for you. For your promise that we will gain it in return. Yes. Father, we call you our God. We call you our master. We call you our king. We call you our Lord. We surrender in lifting up our hands to you. We say, come and have your way. For we have no other God. We have no other help. We ask you to come. Fulfill your will. Come and do that which only you can do. Receive praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate our God. Appreciate Jesus with a hand clap. Appreciate Jesus with a hand clap. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. you. May be seated. The Lord bless you for finding time to join us this morning. The Lord richly bless you. Thank you so much. We want to honor God for giving us such an opportunity, such a moment to ascend on his mountain, to come to his presence. Praise the name of Jesus. And it's a blessing to see all of us today in the house of God. I want to say welcome to the presence of God today in Jesus' mighty name. I want also to acknowledge our viewers, those who have joined us from every corner. We want to say that we love you and we honor you. And we say welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to uh, release our children. But before we release our children, I want to give some two, three minutes to uh, a team from Zone 1. A team from Zone 1. Uh, and we are going to move faster to come and do a presentation before the Lord. Amen. Today is a day of presentation. So I want to see those people moving very fast. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We can sanitize some microphones. Oh, they are, they are not using microphones. Okay, beautiful. Amen.
You can use a microphone because somebody who is online does not understand what you are saying. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah, uh, nasema ya kwamba we are zone 1 na kuna wale ambao tumetokea hapa ndio tuliweza ku practice that song. Na kalejo ni wewe tunangoja. So ni ile wibo ambao tuliiba last time tuliona kwamba ni vizuri tuimalizie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ya yeah, na najua kwamba tutabarikiwa. It is an opportunity so we are looking forward kuona ya kwamba mtabarikiwa. Amen. Okay, kama haipatikani saa hii Kanisa mnaweza simama tusaidie kuiba hii wibo. Amen.
gosh. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you so much. Let's appreciate that team. Amen. We are encouraging activities in our zones. We thank you so much for the presentation. The Lord bless you. Praise the name of Jesus. I want us to release our children. I ask one of you to come and pray for us. Please, our children, come. One of you who is praying for us. Okay, come, come. Amen. Praise the Lord. How are you doing now? The healing was true. Yeah. This girl want, once made a request in the hospital and said, I want the pastor to pray for me. And I thank God she's strong. Amen. You will not face that challenge again in your life. You will grow strong, healthy, and uh, as a powerful girl. Say amen. Close your eyes for a word of prayer. Almighty Father God, you come before this day once say thank you for giving the gift of life, the gift of God, and for giving us food so we can eat. We, we want to pray for the people who are in the hospital so they can get well very soon so that they can go back to their family and their family to come to the church and thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. Okay. We let our children go to Sunday school. The Lord bless you. Praise the name of Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Are you ready for the word of God? Amen. Amen. Just before we get to the word of God, I, uh, I want us to spend a minute or two and pray for our nation. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, you, we had an erection. And uh, after that, uh, there is a case that has been in court. And we know that the judgment is coming up tomorrow. Praise the name of Jesus. We want to declare that as the judgment is made, there will be peace in our nation. Praise the name of Jesus. There will be peace. That there will be no any chaos in this land. Praise the name of Jesus. That, uh, you know, when, when you go to court, there will be always a winner and a loser. Somebody will have to be declared a winner. Another one will be declared. And also it can go the other way. They can say now, we repeat. Whichever direction. We want to pray that there will be peace in our nation. Amen. If we have to go back to directions, well and good. Amen. We do it again. If they will say, this one did not win, or this one lost, let it be that our nation will be at peace. I have gone, I've been, uh, I've been monitoring the social media, and there is a, a lot of anxiety. There is a lot of anxiety. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, and even it is being recorded that uh, the police are being deployed in our towns. Praise the name of Jesus. So that they can monitor the status. We want to say Kenya is safe. Our nation will be at peace. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, I want you to stand and take a minute. Take a minute. Take a minute on your own. Pray in your own language. Pray in your own understanding. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Pray in your own understanding. And then uh, we are going to join up together as we make a prayer. I'll ask uh, Karenjo to join us as we pray in the name of Jesus. But before he prays, I want you to make a prayer on your own. Can you declare peace? Can you pray in your own understanding? Pray in the spirit of God. Pray as the Lord leads you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Join up together. Let us declare this nation will not be destroyed. Properties will not be destroyed. We are not at risk. We are not at risk. This nation 
This nation is not at risk. We want to declare the peace of God. We want to declare the protection of our Father over every city, over every village, over every Kenyan. We want to say that my Father, as the decision is made, pray, pray, pray in the high, in the in the Supreme Court. It will be acceptable. It will be acceptable. Every citizen of this nation, my Father, my God, will be humbled by the decision, will not be provoked to chaos in the name of Jesus. And we want to declare anybody planning chaos, we declare confusion in their camp. We declare they will not succeed. My Father, scatter their agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody, my Father, coming up with a strategy of retaliation, we declare they will not succeed. We declare they will not succeed. This is our land. This is our nation. We need to continue with our businesses. We need to continue building our economy. We need our children to continue schooling. We need my father to continue seeing our market stabilize. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have seen the damage of this politics of our economy. We have seen seen our shilling deteriorate. We have seen my father, our ah, property so God, not going out for sales. We pray, oh God, peace, peace. No chaos in Kenya, no chaos. We declare the peace of God that it passes every human understanding to guard this nation, to protect this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Preserve lives, O oh God. Preserve lives, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before you this morning. We say thank you for the gift of life. We say thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you have given us to gather in your name, O God. And this morning, O God, we stand in the gap as a church, praying for our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we have seen your faithfulness upon our nation. We have seen you are great work upon our nation during elections and after elections oh god we have experienced your peace and god we pray and god we come before you again this morning we are asking oh god may you continue releasing that peace upon our nation in the mighty name of jesus lord even as we await for for the judgment that is in the court, O oh God, concerning our elections, O oh God. Father, we are praying, O oh God, may you take control, O oh God. The Bible says, O oh God, that you are our lawgiver. You are our supreme God. Lord, we welcome you into our supreme courts, O oh God. We pray, my God and my Father, may you take control, may you take charge, O oh God. May your purpose be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are praying for, for our judges as they sit down from tomorrow and release judgment concerning these elections, O oh God. I pray may your wisdom be upon them, O oh God. May you, may you use them, O oh God, to fulfill your purpose concerning this nation. Father, we pray for peace in our nation. Even after the judgment, my God and my Father, we declare as a church that there shall be no distractions, there shall be no bloodsheds, O oh God, there shall be no demonstrations, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray any evil agenda against our nation all over the 47 counties, my God and my Father, we pray, may you silence any evil agenda. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray any man or woman, any leader who is preparing himself or herself to bring chaos over our land.
Father, we pray. May you, uh, may you silence their agenda in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare that Kenya shall be in peace after tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. And people, oh God, shall resume back to their works in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our education system will not be destroyed, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare, let everything be done in decent and in order to the glory and honor of your name. Father, now we declare peace upon every 47 counties in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that any evil alarm that has been uh, risen in our counties, O oh God, we pray may your peace prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. My God and my Father, we pray uh, for our leaders, those who, those who will not succeed uh, in the judgment tomorrow, I pray, may you speak to their hearts. May you, may you help them, O oh God, to, to initiate peace over our land. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you. You may be seated. Amen. I want to continue sharing on faith. Praise the name of Jesus. I started sharing this last Sunday. And uh, I want to continue this morning. Second Corinthians chapter number 5. And verse 7. Second Corinthians 5 and verse 7. The Bible says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. I said last week that Christianity is all about faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Without faith, there is no Christianity. Our faith is all, or our belief, Christianity as a religion is all about faith. We walk, we operate, our actions, our plans, our investments, our dreams, and even our visions should be or are all about faith. Praise the name of Jesus. We don't walk by what we see. We don't plan from what we have. We do not take steps based on an evidence at hand. Our operation is by faith. Praise the name of Jesus. And I said without faith, we cannot access the supernatural. For you to access the spiritual realm, for you to access the supernatural realm, you need a medium called faith. And the Bible records that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So our operations is by faith. We don't succeed by the strength of our money. We don't succeed by the strength of our muscles. It is not by mighty. It is not by power. We succeed by faith. The strength of man is futile. Our wisdom is futile. Oh, hallelujah. Our achievements are futile. We operate by faith. Praise the name of Jesus. And this morning I want to take you a step further and show you why you need faith. Why you need faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Why do you need faith? Number one, you need faith because our God is a faith God. Whatever God does, is by faith. 
and like a father, like a son. If our father is a father of faith, then we, our, uh, as the children, should be faith children. Am I communicating? Our God is a faith God. There is nothing that God does outside faith. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why we saw last week in the book of Romans chapter number 4 and verse 17 that our God calls things which are not as though they are. When you are failing and everybody is seeing a failure, our father is seeing something different. He says a righteous man may fail seven times, but he will rise up again. So when people see you down, God see you lifted. When people see you sick, God sees you healed. When people see you poor, our God sees you rich. Praise the name of Jesus. God does not speak from where you are. He speaks to where you are supposed to be. God does not speak from where you are. He speaks to where you are supposed to be. In other words, when God sees your situation, he has an expectation. He can see the outcome of <laughs> He can see the outcome of the situation. He can see the outcome of the circumstances you are in. So God does not speak as per where you are, but as per where you are supposed to be. Ah. That is why when you see yourself single, you are say um, you say I'm single. God sees a father or a mother of nations. Ah, praise the name of Jesus. When you see today, God sees your tomorrow. And he calls your tomorrow into today. To manifest today. To be seen today. Praise the name of Jesus. When God did the creation. Praise the name of Jesus. He did not create anything from what was existing. He said what he wanted to see. Hebrews chapter number 11 and verses 3. Hebrews 11 and verses 3. What does the Bible say? The Bible says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. So that the things which are seen were not made by things which are visible. Praise the name of Jesus. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. It is God who said, let there be light. There was no light. And light came forth. Praise the name of Jesus. Let there be day. And let there be night. And the Bible says, And so, they did not come from what was in existence. Therefore, as our Father is, so you need to be. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, as your Father is, so should you be. Praise the name of Jesus. What am I saying? Whatever you desire to see doesn't have to be or doesn't have to be to have existed. Let me come up again. Whatever you desire to see your life, it doesn't have to have existed before you bring it to existence. In other words, you don't need evidence before you trust God for anything in your life. What I'm trying to say, it can start with you. 
Before God said, there was no light. Before God said, there were no animals. So if he initiated something from nothing, you can also initiate the destiny of your life not based by what your family has been going through. Hallelujah. But by what the Lord says. Or by what you desire to see God. You can be the genesis of the change that you desire in your life. Let me, if, if I'm very fast, I can, I, can, I can become slow. I'm saying you need faith because our God is a faith God. Amen? And everything he does is by faith. I have said God does not see you as by where you are. Do you know that God knows your end? God knows your tomorrow. He is the Alpha and Omega. He sees your full life. And when God speaks about you, he speaks based on what he wants to see. Not based on where you are. So right now you can be sick. But God speaks what he wants to see. He speaks healing because that is what he wants to see. Clap your hands to Jesus. This is not a science. Hallelujah. You are walking today and the father sees our car. He does not speak to you walking on your feet. He speaks the car that is seen in your life. Hi. Hallelujah. He calls Abraham a father of many nations when he doesn't have a son. Why? He is saying what he wants to see. Not the situation is in. And therefore, I have said, you can create the world you want to live in. You can create the life you desire. And I have said, it doesn't need any evidence for God to do it. You can be the first. Just as there was no light before God spoke it, there can be a transformation in your life not based on where you come from or who it has happened to, but you are the initiator. Clap your hands to Jesus. That is why you need faith to be able to see as God sees. To be able to speak as God speaks. To be able to initiate as God initiates. As Father is, so you are. If our Father is a his sons must be creators. Shake the hand of your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, be like your father. I'm saying shake the hand. Amen. Tell your neighbor, be like your father. Amen. Can you ask your neighbor, let us now be in class. Can you ask your neighbor, if, you, if God was looking at you today, what does he see? What does he see? If God was looking at you or if God was speaking about your situation, talk to your neighbor. Be obedient in church. What does he see? Hmm? If God was in your situation, how does he see the situation? 
Yes, the economy is tough. Correct. That's what everybody is saying. But if God was looking at your situation, what could he say? He could still say today, silver is mine. Gold is mine. Cattle on a thousand hills, they are mine. God could still say, I am Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides for you. <laughs> God will not change his story and say the economy is tough. No, he will say, I am your provider. He will say, I own everything. He will still say to you today, ask. Ask. He will say, ask. And it shall be given. He will say, knock. And the door shall be opened. He will say, seek. And you shall find. So as our father is, so are we supposed to be. Tell your neighbor, start behaving like your father. <laughs> Amen. You need faith because that is how our father is. When our father sees you fighting, amen, to him, he sees your victory. When you come to the end, he does not see the end. He sees a way through your end. Huh? He sees a way. When you are crying, there is no water. He can see water from a rock. He can see water from a rock. Huh? Praise the name of Jesus. When you, you are just about to sleep hungry. Amen. He sees the provision. He says, if there is no gas, I can cook the food in heaven and deliver it ready for you to eat. I, I, I had a story of a man of God. They did not have food. A man of God, even men of God sleep hungry. There are times they lack completely. So, and, and you, need to, you need to understand that uh, even as men of God, we are families. And sometimes, as a man of God, your children do not understand your faith. Please understand that. Even when I am crying, my children still see their father. <laughs> we can sleep. We, I can tell them at night. At night. I don't have money. And we wake up in the same house. They will still knock the door of my bedroom. And tell me daddy we need sugar. Because to them. They see a father. <laughs> Amen. They don't want to know whether an angel came at night and delivered the money. All they need is the sugar. So as a man of God, they are looking at him. And then this man says, bring the plates. Arrange them on the table. Amen? And then he tells the wife, can you pray for our food? The children are very aware. They have not seen their jiko being written. They have not seen anybody cooking anything. So I believe even as they are closing their eyes, others are checking what is happening here. The wife prays for the food. Immediately they said, Amen. There was a knock at the door from the neighbor. And then the father says, can you check who is at the door? Then they find the neighbor standing there. And then she says, I have come rushing to tell you please don't cook. Because I cooked expecting visitors. And they have made a call to say they are not coming. And I felt we should not lose this food. I came to tell you please don't cook. 
so that this food does not go to waste. The pastor says, bring it quickly. And the Lord provided. When you see darkness, God sees light. When you see lack, God sees provision. I pray that your eyes may be open uh, to start seeing things as God sees uh, and to start saying what the Lord is saying about your situation. Clap your hands to Jesus. You need to declare like David, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Amen. The greatest mistake that we do as believers is to start speaking the way the world speaks. I said last Sunday, when you declare your faith, People will see you as crazy. They will see you abnormal. They will not understand you. Because our language is not their language. <laughs> Your language is not their language. The way we see things is not the same way they see things. May the Lord open your eyes. May the Lord change your words. May God change your confession. May you become like your father. When the father saw darkness, he didn't complain. What am I going to do about this darkness? He spoke a solution. May the Lord baptize you with the power to speak solutions to your challenges, to your battles, to your resistance, to your opposition in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. Why do you need faith? Number two, miracles happen by faith. Miracles happen by faith. Healings come by faith. Deliverance comes by faith. Whatever you need comes by faith. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter number nine. From verse 20. Matthew 9 verse 20. And suddenly. A woman who had. A flow of blood. For 12 years. Came from behind. And touched the hem of his garment. I want you to look clearly. If not carefully. At verse 21. Please look up. The screens. Look up. Just for a minute before you continue writing. For she said to herself. She said to herself. It was not a discussion. She had her own meeting. And she wrote minutes. And came to a conclusion. And said to herself. If only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. Now listen. Jesus is a miracle worker. He is so powerful. Amen. And he is able to do anything. Are you hearing me? But he will not do it until you provoke it. He will not do it until you initiate it. I believe there were so many sick people in the same meeting where Jesus was. But only this woman who had an expectation, received her miracle. Praise the name of Jesus. Because she was determined. She purposed that today is my day. Today I'm going for my healing. Twelve years must come to an end. I am going to see a change of my situation. And
And she went forth. When she left home, she knew today I'm coming with my miracle. She said, I am going to touch. And I know as I touch, I will be healed. Listen to me. Nobody is holding your miracle. Nobody is holding your breakthrough. Ha, 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 ha. Nobody is holding your breakthrough. You are the determinant of the breakthrough you shall enjoy. You are the determinant of the miracles that will happen in your life. You determine by yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. It is you to purpose. Hallelujah. That I will not die poor. It is you to purpose. This sickness will not kill me. It might have killed so many. It could be in record. But my case is different. Amen. My case is different. This woman purposed that today I'm going for my miracle. Listen. You can't receive from God that which you are not expecting. Stop saying I was in a meeting and there, there was no anointing. Stop saying that service does not have the anointing. That is why I've left with my problem. It is you to determine what to receive. The Bible does not say that there was a, a worship service, that there was a singing that took place before this woman came for a miracle. She did not even receive the preaching. She didn't hear anything. She just said, I'm going to touch. She made up her mind that this is my day. If you are not seeing God, the problem is not with God. The problem is not that Jesus is stopped working. The problem is you are not stretching your faith to draw that which you want from the Lord. Clap your hands to Jesus. You are not drawing your faith. You are not drawing your faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. In Jericho, there was a blind man called Patmias. And the Bible says, but Myers is told Jesus is passing. Jesus is passing. What did Pat Myers do? Pat Myers started shouting. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. They tried to stop him. He could not stop. They tried to shut him down. He could not be shut down. Because this man knew. Ha, ha, ha. Nobody determines my breakthrough. I determine my breakthrough. Nobody will determine the miracles. I am going to receive. I determine the miracle. I am going to receive. She could not, he could not be silenced. He could not be stopped until Jesus stood and asked, what do you want? What can I do for you? Miracles happen in the name of Jesus. You must go for your miracle by lifting up your faith, by stretching out your faith, by trusting in God, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the challenge, regardless of the resistance, nobody will hinder your miracle. It is you who can hinder your miracle. Hakuna mtu atazuiria mujiza wako. Kwani Patimayas alikuwa amefanywa ibada wapi? There were no posters in Jericho. The mega Jesus crusade. Huh? There was no even fasting. We are not told this lady fasted. We are not told Patimayas fasted. They only stretched their faith. 
and they received their miracles. Amen. Yeah. There is a miracle for you. I'm saying there is a miracle for you. There is a breakthrough for you. There is a breakthrough for you. The late Reverend Moses Mwang used to say, that which God has prepared for you, nobody will snatch it from your hands. It is only you who will choose to lose it. Nobody will snatch it. There is a miracle in your business. There is money for your business. There is money for your family. There is money for your destiny. It is you to go forth and receive it. You must create an environment of miracles every day. That as I step out of this house today, it doesn't matter how yesterday was, but today is a new day. Today is my day. Today my breakthrough is coming. Today, today as I step out of this house, the steps I take will be ordered by the Lord. I might go out empty, but I'm coming in full. I am coming in loaded. I am coming in blessed. I am coming in with joy. You create what you want to see. You determine what will happen to you. With the issue of faith, God does not care how big you trust him. He is able to do big things. He is able to do small things. According to your faith, you will receive. I'm saying, according to your faith, you will receive. If you believe God for small things, he will give you the small things. If you believe him for rabbits, he will give you rabbits. If you believe him for elephants, he will give you elephants. According to your faith. Not according to the faith of the pastor. According to your faith. I might even be faithless. But you can draw it. Eli, 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 Eli. Eli was faithless. But still Samuel had the voice of God. Hey, hey. Eli was old. But still God came to a young man. Nobody is holding your miracle. It is you to determine the miracle. Nobody will determine the money you handle. You know, people keep on shouting there is no money in Kenya. Huh? The economy is so tough. But I want you to check around. Just walk around with open eyes. Remove, sometimes remove your sunglasses and walk, see things clearly. Don't always put on a mask. Look around and see what people are doing. When you are saying there is no money, frats are coming up. When you are saying there is no money, people are buying vehicles. Go to the road. Read the number plates. It is not K U D. It is not K X something. New vehicles are on the road. In fact, we go to the highway to check the latest, which is now the latest. We go and check. Then you discover it is now K D K D K. You hear? And these are people buying. They are not being given. And yet somebody is saying there is no money in Kenya. Let me quote again Reverend Moses Mwangi, the late. He said, there is no single day that God sent angels with the sacks to collect money from earth and take it to heaven. All the money is still here. Never, there is no. Money has not, been, has, <laughs> has not been taken back to heaven. All the money is here. And those who have faith will draw it from where it is into their lives. You are not saying amen. 
Today I'm challenging you. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> it's good to understand the day of battle. Today is a day of provoking you. Amen. You are saying there is no job in there are no jobs in Kenya? That's a lie. Even yesterday, people were employed. Even today, there are people who are being employed. Even today. So they are not there because you are not expecting a miracle. You must stand on your feet and declare God will open a door for me in this land. I am not going to miss a job. The Lord will go before me to make a way where there seems to be no way. He will go before me to revorize my mountains, to cut open the paths of iron. My God will go before me to give me the treasure that is hidden in dark places. You determine. You determine. Whatever you say, the Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat its fruit thereof. Miracles happen by faith. Miracles happen by faith. Amen. Elijah finds a widow who is about to die. The flour is almost finished. The oil is too little. Elijah says to her, give me water. This woman rushes to bring water. Elijah says, no, no, no. Don't bring water first. Go and bring bread. Then the lady says, that one, that one is not possible. Because what we have is only left for today. I'm putting together these small sticks. I go cook. We eat. I and my son. Then we die. He tells her. It is true. But go fast. Make for me. And she did it. Prepared bread. Brought it to Elijah. Elijah ate. I believe the son was watching how this man is swallowing that bread and it is almost finished. And they are now wondering what happens next. Then Elijah says, you go now. That fra will never cease. You remove it, the next time you go to cook, it will be there. You draw the oil, you, you even shake the bottle, put it at its place. The next time you go to cook, oil will be there. And the Bible says there was provision until drought was over. Your miracle is with you. Your miracle is with you. Your breakthrough is with you. <laughs> Your breakthrough is with you. It is you to determine what happens to you. And it will happen by faith. I cast the spirit of faithlessness. I cast the spirit of doubt. I cast the spirit of fear. I release the spirit of faith. Ah, I release the spirit of faith. I release the spirit of faith. There is a time I said here, bring me driving licenses. Bring them here. I want to pray for them. So they're going to get cars. I prayed. And that that year people bought cars. I prayed. People bought cars. I said, go for your passports. You're going to travel. Some did not believe. But one of the old ladies called me and told me, Pastor, you said we go for passports. And I asked myself, what am I going to, 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 to use a passport? Do I need it at my age? Because an opportunity had presented itself and she was not ready. But I said, go for your passport. Huh? If you 
you see yourself scatting the mountain of Ndegendimo, Mashini Fari. Baranabas is your headquarters. When you go there, you have reached the farthest. You will not go for a passport. But when your eyes open, you can see what you are doing today becoming international. I'm saying becoming international. You can see yourself going to the source where they produce the machines you are using to order for your own machines. You can see yourself going to the source to order them. You can see yourself. The choice is yours. Your miracle is there. It is you to stretch and receive it. Huh? I said in the beginning of the year, I am seeing our children going international. Today as I talk, from January, two have already stepped out. No, not two. Three have already stepped out. Two with scholarship. One was sacked. Say sacked. And he called me at night. Told me, pastor, in fact, he sent me he sent me his termination letter on WhatsApp. Then I read and called him, asked him, what is this? He told me, Pastor, I've been sacked. Why? I refuse to be corrupt. They wanted to corrupt. They wanted us to aid them to steal. We refused. I told him, you have not been sacked. You have been promoted. I told him, you have been promoted. As I talk to you today, is in the United States of America. As I talk to you. You want to clap? Clap your hand. And not only he has sent me offerings. Sent offerings. From the United States. He said, I'm finished. You must speak like your father. You must see like your father. There are things a man of God will say to you. Don't take them as a joke. Don't take them as a joke. Go cook first. Bring to me. <laughs> cook first. Bring to me. If she refused to do it, she could die with her son. But it is when she did what she was commanded... That is when the miracle came. There is a miracle for you. I can see your life better than where it is today. I, I can... <laughs> I can see you better than where you are today. Just raise up your faith for your miracle. And it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. I'm saying it will happen. What? You don't need money. You don't need a certificate. You don't need a connection. You don't need nothing. All that you need is faith. I went to preach in El Bagon. I went to preach in El Bagon. I called an otako to pray for people. A young girl came in front. And as I was praying, God gave me a word of knowledge. I told that girl, I see you in a plane. I see you in a plane. And I left. Three weeks, the pastor called me. And told me, pastor, do you know the girl you told, I see you in a plane? She has gone out. She got a job outside the country. She has left. She has left. <laughs> praise the name of Jesus. I'm saying praise the name of Jesus. I have met people. This year alone. 
We have gotten two children. From people who have been struggling to get children. A young girl comes to me. Tell me my marriage is breaking. My marriage is breaking. Because my husband cannot understand how I get, I, I, I conceive and then I lose the pregnancy. There is a miscarriage. I don't understand. So desperate, emaciated, broken down. She has lost her glory. I told her, you are going to have your baby. And I told her, the next conception will grow to maturity. As I talk to you today, a baby boy is in her hands. A baby boy is in her hands. Your miracle is there. But you need faith. Number three. Why do you need faith? Victory in life comes through faith. Victory in life comes through faith. There are so many battles we face. So many resistances that we face. We have enemies all around us. We can't conquer by our strength. We need faith to sustain our marriages. We need faith to sustain our businesses. We need faith to go through our academic desires. We need faith to raise up children in this crooked generation. Faith will give you victory in this life. First John chapter number 5. First John chapter number 5 and verse 4. For whatever is born of God, are you born of God? For whatever is born of God, are you born of God? I can't hear you. Are you born of God? Every person who is born again is born of God. Praise the name of Jesus. For whatever is born of God, does what? What does it overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcome, that has overcome the world. What is the victory that has overcome the world? Our faith. Say our faith. Say our faith. Now don't say our faith. Say my faith. Because sometimes victory is personal. what a worship team. You may not conquer battles as a worship team. You conquer as an individual. Your victory will give your your faith will give you your victory. Eh? Shake your neighbor. You can be admitted in one hospital. One comes out. Others go. What has given you victory? Your faith. Your, fa your faith. Things can come. Economic battles can arise. Challenges. And sweep all the business. But yours survives. Why? Because of faith. People might not sustain marriages in this generation, but yours can survive. Why? By faith. Amen? You will overcome the battles of life by faith. I declare from today, there is no battle that will bring you down. There is no sickness that will bring you down. Ah, there is no resistance that will bring you down. As battles arise, so your faith shall arise. When the resistance comes, the spirit of the Lord 
we raise up a standard against him. The last for today, living is by faith. Why do you need faith? Because if you don't have faith, you are as good as dead. Kama vile mwanadamu hawezi ishi bila oxygen. Njeri. Unaona hii uremba yako? If we want to kill you, we just disconnect you from oxygen. Prisha, you are alive because you have oxygen. Are you hearing me? You lose oxygen, you die. The same way you lose faith, you are dead. As a believer. Because there is nothing you can get outside faith. Nothing. Nothing. There is nothing. All the people we read in the Bible, their victory came out of faith. Anna, Abraham, Jacob, huh? the disciples, their victory was connected with their faith. A believer without faith is not a believer. Christianity without faith is not Christianity. Amen. For you to live is Amen. I, I said, I told people in the first service, I, I don't have anything. I don't trust in, any, in anything. I just trust in God. I only believe in the living God. I have no other faith. I don't believe in the government of Kenya. It can fail. Eh? Deliverance church can fail. Members can fail. Members can fail. My brothers, my sisters can fail. Even my parents can fail. Only God will not fail. I cast is a man who puts his trust upon man. Because man can fail. Kwa ni wangapi wengine wenu wapamuku someshwa? Kwa sabu wazazi hawa kuwa na pesa? Na siyo makosa yao? Hawa kuwa na yao? Because they are just bad people. But if you trust in God, there is nothing you cannot do. So refuse to die. I'm saying refuse to die. Refuse to die. Hold on to your faith. It is faith that will give you life. When the economy fails, faith sustains. Hmm? When money fails. Do you know there are things money cannot do? It is true it is an answer. But there are things money cannot pay, cannot give you. Somebody wrote uh, from the world perspective, money can buy a bed but not sleep. <laughs> you can have the best bed in Africa. In fact, a bed that you switch on, it, it brings the temperature of sleeping. You, don't, you know it is very cold these days. Unaenda unaguzisha mwiri kwa kitamba. Bed sheet. Unazikia ni kama ilimuwegi wa maji. Kuna wengine awatavutagi joto yao wenyewe wana switch. Yo kama yo yako naenda na jikunja kwanza. Eh? Ndi upate joto. Lakini wanakosa usingizi. Sasa wu unendo unanguka na purangeti yako imezeka unararo. Unafikiri ya kila mtu wanararaka kwa ki. Kuna watu wakuna purangeti mpia. Dufre. Mwenaita tufe ya mandufe. Safi. Lakini wana usingizi. Man cannot buy everything. There are things only God gives. And that's why you need faith to live. <laughs> you need faith to live. You need faith to be alive as a believer. Aye. Romans 1 verse 17. What does the Bible say? Romans 1 17 as we close. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written. What is written? The just shall live, I declare you will not die. Your destiny will not be killed. Your dreams will not be killed. Your plans will not be killed. I declare you shall live by faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me make this last statement. Listen to this. A believer is programmed in such a way 
that nothing happens without faith. A believer is programmed in such a way that nothing happens without faith. Hakuna kitu kitatendeka bira iman. Now, if there is anything I can give you, I give you faith. May your faith be restored. May your faith be restored. May your faith be increased. May your faith be increased. The disciples said, this statement is too difficult. Whatever you have said is too hard. Because you have said, this is what you have said. You have said a rich man cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So we are wondering who will inherit. Then increase our faith. This is too hard. Increase our faith. May the Lord increase your faith to start seeing the impossible becoming possible. To start seeing your miracles, your breakthrough, your victories. When you have faith, you can't fail. We, we, you know people can see that you have been beaten. You, have been, you, you, you are just down. You have been destroyed. But as so long as you have faith, you will come up again. Until you lose faith, that is when you will lose battles. If you have not lost the faith, it doesn't matter how far the enemy has taken you. It could be as far as he took a job, but you will rise up again. You will rise up again. There will be a restoration again. There will be a breakthrough again. In the name of Jesus, I want us to stand and tell God, increase my faith. Increase my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, let there be a restoration of my faith today. I want uh, to be fresh. I want to be alive. I don't want to be a believer who is dead. I want to be a believer who is alive. Increase my... I want you to pray with zeal. You know, this is the only thing that can make you alive. I want you to pray for it with a lot of passion. Tell God, increase my faith. Tell God, restore my faith. Tell God, I want to operate in faith again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to operate in your platform. I just want to be like you, my father. I just want to operate in miracles, signs and wonders. I want to see the victory in this life. Over every battle, over every resistance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my father and my God. I want Makerosina, I want to start living. I want to enjoy my life. I want to live. I don't want to die. I want to live. I don't want to die. I shall not die, but I shall live. I don't want to lose my life, oh God. By losing my faith, I want to see life. I want to enjoy life. I want to have my life and have it more abundantly. My father in peace. My my faith increase my faith increase my faith increase I want to believe in for miracles almighty let my faith be this is what you need this is what you need this is what you need you need, you need faith to see God tell him God release 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 shalaba kata rebo shaika bata shaka tandero boriba shaka Lift up your hands to go. Call on his name. Call on his name. Call on the name of the Lord. Call on the name of Jesus. Tell God in peace, my faith. I come for my miracle. I come for my miracle. I come for my breakthrough. Tell the Lord. I know I see things. As you see them, I will say, as you say, I will speak. As you speak. I choose to change my situation. 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 
I know there are things different people are trusting God for different things. There are things you want to see in your life. There are breakthroughs you desire. And you are telling God do it. Jesus made a simple statement. According to your faith, may it be done to you. Amen. That which you are trusting God for, lift up your hands. Your faith in God to do it for you. As you lift up your hands, it's a sign of faith. I declare it now. According to your faith, receive your healing. Amen. Receive your provision. Amen. Receive your victory. Amen. Receive your joy. Receive your peace back according to your faith. I declare miracles over your life, victories over your life, breakthroughs over your life, provision over your life. There is selection power of God over your life. I declare a new season. I declare a new beginning according to your faith right now. I release your miracle. I release your miracle. I release your miracle. Amen. I release your miracle. Amen. The Egyptians you are seeing today, you will see them no more. Yes. The Lord will fight for you. Amen. 
the shame you have carried for many years, yes. the Lord wipes it away. Amen. The spirit of poverty yes. is crushed under the feet of Christ. Right now, yes. receive your miracle. Amen. I declare you are blessed. Amen. I declare Amen. your provision will not cease. Amen. I release the resurrection power Amen. of God over your business. Yes. That business will not die. Amen. Receive the life of God. I declare it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands to Jesus. You can give God a better hand clap before I say anything. Give the Lord a better hand clap. This is what I hear. This week, this yes. week, will mark the beginning of a radical change wow, in amen. the lives of men of you. Amen. amen. This week yes. will mark the beginning of a radical change amen. in your life. Amen. This week. Yes. Which this, this is the second week. Yes. At least you cannot forget it because yes. you will remember the week when the Supreme Court yes. brought in judgment. Yes. You, you can't forget it. Amen. This will be the week. Amen. That will mark a radical change Amen. in your life. Yes. There are things the Lord will resurrect. Yes. There is hope Amen. that God has restored. Amen. This week yes. turns things around. Amen. In fact, not this week, as you step out of that yes. door, things turn Amen. around. Things turn around. Amen. Things turn around. Amen. From this moment, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. You will see it. Amen. And you will confess it. Amen. And you shall declare it. Amen. Here on earth. Yes. Yes. Amen. Something has broken loose. Yes. Something has broken loose. Amen. A breakthrough has come. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it. Amen. Receive it. I told people in the first service what we have prayed for. Go and write it where you can see. Amen. Many years when we were trusting God to build this sanctuary. I tried to explain to people they could not understand. We were in a classroom. That classroom, do you see that portion there? It was halfway that portion. That side. Halfway. Am I correct? Nasari. Halfway. Senior. That portion here pale, Marira in your free mepita. The other portion. How katarasa karikwa. In fact, eh, mbaka, unaona rain here green. Zile vitis are green. Tell your neighbor, if you have never been called mad, you have not reached a point you are exercising your faith. Until the people call you, you are abnormal, you have not started exercising faith. So people are looking at me, they are wondering, what is pastors? Then I was still young. People could not understand. Do you know what I did? We drew. I went to a, I asked an artist to draw it and to paint it. Yes. And on the podium behind the podium there in the classroom, we pinned it there. It stayed there. And every time I could tell them, this is the sanctuary we are building. 
nikihubiri iko nyuma yangu hata ukua na vitambaa kama hii hiyo ndio ilikuwa decoration yetu bana sasa risu leo haiko kwa building haiko kwa picha iko kwa ground is on the ground just believe just believe things change now what you do you go and write yes you go and write somewhere you can see what you are trusting god for amen don't even trust your head just write it and then when it happens you will know god was speaking yes. you will know because he has spoken yes and he has done it in jesus name Once more clap your hands to Jesus. Do you see the field out there? Do you see that field out there? Yes. I'm asking, do you see that field out there? Yes. That field is for parking. Kama umepata ufunuo, Mungu akubariki. Amen. That field is for parking. Don't you ever ask your neighbor, do you have a driving license? Do you have a driving license? Kuna watu hata sahii hawajakamata imani. Ask your neighbor, do you have a driving license? Do you have a driving license? Because that field out there is for what? Yani I believe in you so much that we could invest 900,000 to buy a parking space for you. Ninapenda vile bishop wangu anasema bishop George anasema usichanganye miguu. Chukua hatua. Tunakuamini mpaka tumelipa 900,000 for a piece of land to create your parking. Your parking Si uende ukae pale ukuje tu siku moja hata kama ni Tuesday ukae kwa hiyo parking useme vile nimekaa hapa next time nikirudi ni gari nitapaki hapa tukikukuta umekaa pale kwa parking peke yako hatutakufukuza because hatujui mnaongereshana nini na Mungu <laughs> I bless you in Jesus name Are you here you are not born again you are not born again You are watching us you are not born again let me pray with you the first step towards faith is giving your life to jesus you can't believe in whom you do not know give him your life surrender to christ let me pray with you wherever you are say dear lord jesus dear lord jesus i have received your word i have received your word today today i ask you to forgive me I ask, I ask you to forgive me. Cleanse my sins. Cleanse my sins. And I ask you, O oh Lord. And I ask you, O oh Lord, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Today I confess. Today I confess that you are Lord, that you are Lord and Savior, and Savior of my life. Of my life. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You have made that prayer today. You are born again. Jesus is Lord. Write a message. Let us know you have made a decision to give your life to Jesus. Amen. Our media team is keen enough to check your number. We'll be able to retract it from our Facebook page and talk to you. Take a step in Jesus name. And by your faith you are blessed. Your miracle is guaranteed. Your victory is sure. The Lord bless you. We want to give you an opportunity to honor God with an offering. Today we are also giving towards our media team. We are giving towards the media that gadget that is reaching you. We want to give towards that. We want to clear some balances here and there towards our media gadgets. We have cameras here that needs to be cleared. We give you also an opportunity to support. Give an offering towards that. 
if it is being a blessing to you, please also take a step and be a blessing to the work of God. So that is our pay bill number. You can take it, give an offering, give your tithe, support us, even as we reach you in the name of Jesus. Support us. You can write there, if you are giving for the media, just write media. If you are giving your tithe, write tithe. Where the baby asks you for account, you can just write media, you can write tithe, or maybe your sacrifice, your offering. Let us know what you are giving to the Lord in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. It's always a blessing to have you with us in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate Amen. our viewers.